I've been exploring Move ecosystem and there's one hidden gem I have found. So Move is this uh, smart contract language that was created at Facebook when they were creating Libra, which then became DM and then they decided to sell it off. And basically a couple of team, a couple of people from DM, uh, from Facebook decided to spin off their own blockchains like Aptos, like Sui that I, that I was talking about in my previous videos. Uh, but there's another, uh, another uh, blockchain that I have found uh, using Move and it's probably the first one that went public, uh, namely Starcoin. Uh, Starcoin was really one of the very, very first ones. I think I can show you the exact roadmap that they have on the website. And it seems like they've been creating something at the end of 2018. Uh, then there was Moveborn in 2019. You can see the Facebook Libra mentioned. Uh, and then L1 by Starcoin uh, adopted Move. And basically from then on, uh, they started building on that. And finally, uh, the mainnet launched last year. Uh, so they've been creating using the, the Move language from the last year. They have quite an ecosystem and it's really a small, small, small coin right now. So if you look at the coin market cap with the, uh, with the star coin, then basically you can see that the volume is quite small. It's like $200,000 right now with the market cap being 22 millions and the fully diluted market cap being 250 millions, which means like 10% of the um, uh, of the fully diluted market cap is on the market right now. Uh, so they probably like really, really early on. You can see the tokens as well. They, ha they There's been some action, then there's this drop because of the bear market and then they up again. So basically uh, the token itself is based on Move. Move is this language where you have uh, super security, super scalability built in, uh, which is really great. Um, so it's really exciting to see what they've been doing. And you can see that basically you have this average cost per transaction, which is super low, uh, the hash rate, uh, total transactions already 8 million transactions. Uh, so people are using Starcoin. Uh, it's still a niche product though. So of course, do your own research before jumping in. Uh, and of course, uh, but playing around it might be really fun. And I really like what I've been reading so far about Starcoin. Uh, so as you can see, they've been launching, they, they've launched both layer one and layer two. Uh, they have a bunch of apps that you can, uh, you can use already as, a, um, as an individual, or you can jump in as a developer and there's plenty to develop, of course, like in any ecosystem. Uh, so for example, then they have a bunch of wallets, uh, they have DEXs, uh, you can buy and sell tokens on Coinex or Gate.io. Uh, then there are mining pools, uh, NFT marketplaces, uh, play to earn game already. Uh, there's a stable coin also on Starcoin. Uh, so this is pretty, pretty fun. Uh, yeah, uh, and to DEXs. Uh, so that's basically it. Uh, the community is growing. Uh, they have like a dozen thousands of uh, people following them on Twitter. Uh, so it's really interesting uh, where they've been um, what they've been creating. And I think uh, it might be a hidden gem because with this uh, move to use move and basically with the growing interest in Aptos and Sui, there will be other blockchains uh, that will come to the surface. And I think Starcoin play, can play it well, uh, basically being in this meta and creating awesome apps that people are, that are super cheap to use and basically are good when it comes to uh, user, user experience in general. Uh, so there's a white paper you can see and in the white paper as well, uh, there's a roadmap for 2022, 2023. Uh, as you can see, they, they've been creating working on DAO. Uh, there's a bunch of things that they've been creating related to different games, dApps and so on. Uh, they, they, they have given some money to the developers as well. Uh, and there's a roadmap going into 2023. Plus, uh, you can basically everything uh, see everything because they have like a weekly reports on what, what's been changing so far. Uh, so it's really pretty interesting. Uh, I probably do, do a deep dive later on and, and uh, record something more about it. Uh, so far, check it out. Uh, of course, think about investing in it for yourself. Uh, this is not a financial recommendation. It's only an exploration tutorial into Starcoin. Uh, but yeah, have fun doing that. Subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode.